Coubertin's loyalty to the Nazi regime was so great that the Nazi Olympic leadership, with Hitler's consent, decided to nominate Coubertin for the Nobel Prize for Peace and that his speech closed the Berlin Olympic Games. Here follows Coubertin's Olympic speech. Keep watch on the sacred flame. The games of the 11th Olympiad will soon be only memories, but memories how potent and how varied. Memories first of beauty. Since the moment just 30 years ago when I called to Paris a conference on arts, letters and sport with the aim of establishing a permanent link between restored Olympism and the works of the mind, intelligent efforts have helped in the realization of the ideal from Stockholm to Los Angeles. And now Berlin has consecrated it forever with daring innovations crowned with complete success such as the relaying of the sacred torch from Olympia and also the magnificent festival in the monumental stadium on the first evening of the games. Both of these projects conceived by my genial and enthusiastic friend Carl Diem. Memories of courage for courage was necessary in order to face the difficulties which the Führer met from the outset with the fight of his will, Wer wollen bauen, and in order to resist the disloyal and treacherous attacks from various quarters which sought to impede the advancing work of construction. Memories lastly of hope, for under the aegis of the symbolic feverinch flag there have been forged muscular understandings stronger than death itself. The swaying and the struggles of history will continue, but little by little knowledge will replace dangerous ignorance. Mutual understanding will soften unthinking hatreds. Thus the edifice at which I have labored for half a century will be strengthened. May the German people in their head be thanked for what they have just accomplished. And you athletes, remember the sun kindled fire which has come to you from Olympia to lighten and warm our epoch. Guard it jealously in the depths of your being in order that it may leap up again on the other side of the world for years hence when you celebrate the 11th Olympiad on the far shores of the great Pacific Ocean.